Hello everyone, welcome back to my second channel. It's been a long time actually since I've filmed any videos on here and I just really wanted to kind of take something positive out of the situation we're all in and use it as an opportunity to revive my second channel. I honestly really have missed making all this like lifestyle content, whether it's just vlogs or like hauls and things that maybe I don't get to do as much over on my main channel. So I thought that would be the perfect time to revive this channel and bring it all to you on here. So it's going to be primarily lifestyle, so vlogs and things, um, as well as like fashion and beauty stuff, pretty much anything that I fancy doing that doesn't really fit into the typical true crime content that I'll do over on my main channel. Please do ignore the root situation of my hair. Um, I really need to dye my roots, it's so bad, but obviously because of everything we're in, I'm really trying to avoid dyeing it too much um, at home, so. Before I do start though, I just wanted to see how you guys are all doing. Obviously I know you can't reply to me right now, um, but if any of you want to like leave it in the comments, sort of just anything, how you've been doing, what you've all been getting up to, um, or if you want to DM me on like Instagram or anything, I do try and get back to as many of my DMs as possible. Um, if I don't get to reply to you, then I'm not ignoring you, I will eventually get around to it. But yeah, I just want you guys to know that um, no matter what is happening at the minute, or anyway, in general, um, I'm always someone that you can message if you ever have a problem or anything, if you just need a chat, so feel free, my DMs are open, I know it's not the easiest time for all of us. Um, but luckily, and it sounds really strange, but luckily we are all in the same boat. So there are plenty of people out there that are going through the same sort of thing as you are. So um, yeah, feel free to message me. So today's video is a little bit of a weird one. I'm just going to be hauling some of the items, uh, the clothing items that I've got recently. Um, so one of these packages from Boohoo, which is an order I placed by myself, um, that I bought myself. But then the Pretty Little Thing parcel is actually a parcel that I got for my birthday. Um, so a couple weeks ago on the 24th of April I celebrated my birthday, obviously very exciting being in lockdown but I turned 22 in during a global pandemic which I never thought I'd be able to say. And I feel like as I get older I just struggle putting together things to have on my birthday list um, to ask for from like my family so I ended up just um, kind of giving my mum some of my wish list and saying like you know if you want to get me some clothes and there you go you know my size so yeah I've got an order here so I'm just going to show you guys everything really I was going to show you guys um, some other bits that I got for my birthday like just some other like the odd little beauty bits um, also like my boyfriend got me a really nice jumper but I think the jumper's in the wash actually so I can't show you that um, but I'm thinking maybe the beauty bits I could probably do in another video if you guys are interested um, mixed in with sort of my recent Amazon purchases because yeah this isn't going to be the biggest haul by far. I've actually been really well behaved in terms of online shopping. I've been really, really like holding myself back because I just think as much as there is very little to do at the minute, um, online shopping, I don't really need anything. So it's just kind of ordering unnecessary things for the sake of it. Plus, if there has been anything that I've wanted to order, I've really struggled finding my size because I feel like everywhere is just sold out of everything at the minute. So it might be a different story once they all restock. Right, so what should we start? We should start with a little thing. So I will try and find all of the links to these um, and leave them in the description for you guys just in case you want to check any of them out. But like I said, with everything being weird at the minute and everyone just buying loads of stuff online, I think there is a possibility that some of it's out of stock and like you can't link them. So if that's the case, I'll try and find something similar, but hopefully because all of these were recent, they should still be on the website. So first up, I got this dress from Pretty Little Thing, which I've actually had my eye on for so long. It's so simple, but I just think it's gonna be so lovely to wear sort of in spring, summer time. It's just this kind of creamy beigey, I'd say it's like stone colored, um, smock dress, it's just a simple jersey dress, nothing too exciting, but this is the sort of thing that I just forget that are like key pieces in my wardrobe. So whenever I'm not online shopping and stuff, I get swept away by like the really um, on trend, fashionable statement pieces and pattern pieces. And I forget to kind of bulk up my wardrobe with the more staple bits that can go with a lot more. So this one is just like cinched in at the sleeves, just with a bit of elastic and the same at the waist and then it's just a little mini dress nice and simple nothing too exciting but i absolutely love it and i got all this in a size eight um usually i find pretty little thing a size eight is a safe bet for me sometimes the items come up slightly large but um i'm kind of someone that prefers things not to be too fitting so this next item i literally have kept it in its bag um i've just pulled it out because obviously i haven't had a chance to wear it out of the house yet so i can't wait to wear it i just think it's so sweet so this is the white pearl mini grab bag um it's just the sweetest little bag it comes with a long strap as well 
which I probably will use just because I'd be so afraid of overusing the pearl handle and getting it all grubby but I think this is so sweet I absolutely love little bags like this I literally have so many of them and I will always reach for this size bag so this is just a nice little white one to add to my collection which actually go really cute with my outfit today make sure you sad that I can't wear it out just before all this uh, lockdown chaos started I went to Manchester with my boyfriend's family and I managed to get my hands on while I was there uh, one of the classic Zara bodysuits that everyone's been going crazy for. I hadn't at the time been able to find any online in my size and I went in the shop and they had all the colours but just not a lot of sizes so I managed to grab one of them in my size which was the black one and I have loved it like I I knew I was gonna like it because it's my kind of cup of tea but I was kind of like why is everyone going so crazy for this bodysuit and it was it's just so comfy I literally wear it all the time and so when I saw this on Pretty Little Thing I thought while well, I can't get my hands on the Zara on this would be perfect so it's not the same material as the Zara bodysuit but it's definitely on the thicker end of the kind of dupes that I've seen uh, a load of shops do so it's just this like stone nudie beige colour racer neck bodysuit um, so again if I'm not wanting to wear the black one this one will be perfect so yeah this is just perfect if I don't really want to wear the black one um, some different colour options there I do also have a trench coat for Pretty Little Thing that came in this order that I will show you in the try on clip just because it's hung up at the minute. Um, I had my eye on it for so long like it was sat in my Pretty Little Thing wish list for ages and then it went on sale and I thought there was no chance of me getting it my size but I did and I'm so happy I did. I absolutely love my trench coat especially sort of in springtime and um, I just kind of live in that beige one and white is such a key colour in my wardrobe that I thought it'd be great to have something a little bit different. So yep, yeah, it's just a long white trench coat which I'll show you in the try on clip but I absolutely love that and then finally from pretty little thing i have this like suit co-ord set because i'm just loving the sort of neutral basics they are literally just me to a t so i have no idea what color they class this as they say it's camel but it's like a dark chocolatey color i don't know it's like a really cool toned muted dark brown so it is a little bit different to sort of most brown fabrics that you'd see um but yeah it's just like a wide leg trouser suit set so just comes with trousers like straight legs i'd say and then a boyfriend fit blazer which obviously you'll see a little bit better in the try and clip um i haven't really worn this out yet again just because i just feel like it's wasted like i haven't really been reaching for things like that in the house because there's no point so um i'm looking forward to being able to wear all of these new pieces out so that is it for pretty little thing i'm just going to leave that sat there and moving on to boohoo so boohoo so boohoo i'm afraid i am still sticking with all of the neutrals just because that's just my wardrobe so this first piece it's going to be very very strange to show you and um, you might just be best waiting for the try and clip or i'll put a photo of what it looked like on the website i absolutely love this it's a little bit different and i feel like it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea but i also think it's very like zara or mango just a slightly higher end looking slightly unique basic um so it's this black shirt material top so it literally feels like a shirt it's an absolute pain to iron um i actually steam it just because it's a lot easier so it literally just looks like a strip of fabric but essentially it's a sleeveless top that you ruffle around the neck at the front and the back and then you tie it so it looks like this around your neck and then you tie it on one shoulder to keep it as tight as you want so it's completely adjustable um, so then this bow just sits on your shoulder and it looks so chic and so cute I absolutely love it I actually really like wearing it with just even just some jeans or these white trousers that I'm wearing today I don't know if you can see um, it just looks really simple and slightly different which I like and then I picked up a white shirt dress and this one's kind of got the puff sleeves i'm all about the puff sleeves at the minute but this one is a little bit more exaggerated because the sleeves are literally not tight tight but they are fitted kind of virtually the whole way up and then when it just comes to the shoulder area it's all puff i have a black shirt dress that i bought like last year or the year before that from primark and i absolutely love it but this one's just a completely different fit so it's an actual shirt material and it's not flowy it's just very straight up and down which i love i think this will be something that i can get a lot of use out of in summer as well even just for like beach cover-ups and stuff but i've been really loving wearing this um a little bit more dressed up i've been wearing this a lot actually i just find that if i feel like i want to get out of loungewear for a little bit and wear something around the house dresses like this are the best option and then the main reason that i wanted to get that dress or like the main outfit that i kind of had envisioned for it was underneath this vest top which again is not gonna be everyone's cup of tea but it's just this 
oversized boyfriend fit houndstooth black and white vest um these knitted vests are everywhere i've seen loads on zara i really want to get myself like a dark brown one from zara actually i think that would look really nice but it just looks very gossip girl very zara um and i think it's kind of a cool different statement piece i've been really loving this so yep that was from boohoo as well and finally this one so again like i said about the white trench coat i just love my beige trench coat um and i had had my own a couple of black ones but I'm not really a massive fan of like darker coats because I like my coats quite oversized and I find that if they're dark coloured they can drown me a little bit so rather than getting kind of like a flowy black trench coat I saw this on Boohoo and I thought it was a really cool concept they did also have it in like your traditional beige trench colour as well so it is essentially just a trench coat but it's cropped so it's just a boxy fit trench looking coat again you can't really see but it's just different and I thought this was something that would kind of tickle my boxes and still look flattering and again perfect for the season so that is everything i have to show you um i should have thought about this a little bit more in advance and kept that jumper i'll see if i can find a photo of the jumper that i got for my birthday um from my boyfriend it was basically from i think it's from b vintage um i've been wanting it for so long it's like a beige um sweatshirt with like a chanel logo embroidered on it so i'll see if i can find a photo from their instagram or something because i absolutely love that it's something that i've just been living in it's perfect for this lockdown loungewear season so let me know if you guys want to see um the beauty haul like i said or just like the other items haul um mostly just beauty bits and then a few odd bits that i picked up from amazon i think it's mostly beauty stuff um just because i managed to do like a skincare order and things that i've just been needing so let me know if you want to see that and also if there's anything specific you want me to do i have been trying to vlog the last couple of weeks virtually every day i've tried picking up my camera and vlogging but it's been so long since i have vlogged that i've kind of fallen out of the swing of naturally picking up the camera but also because literally nothing is happening i am sitting in the house every day obviously just working that's the thing i'm not even like doing a lot around the house to keep myself entertained i'm literally just spending my days working but i am very tempted to film like a q a or a sale or shot it or something like that um or both if you kind of want to see some more like personal things get because it has been so long since i've really just had a chat with you guys um so maybe a q a would be good if you guys wanted to know sort of where i've been and what i've been doing what's going on with my job um where i'm living everything like that and then a sale or shot it if you want some more brutal things so let me know down below um, and also don't forget to follow me on all my social medias because for things like that like the say it or shot it and things obviously i'm going to be asking on there primarily for questions so that'd be fantastic um yeah that is everything so thank you guys so much for watching like i said at the beginning i hope you all are doing well um, and staying safe during this very confusing time i know it's not the best um but my dms are always open if you just need a chat so that's where i'm gonna end the video uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys very soon for another video thanks for watching bye